Hi, my name is Remy Sharp, and I want to show you a very quick trick in uh, dev tools that I'm starting to use as well. So um, I have been building this tool um, that shows me the uh, revision, com the, the, the commits between two revisions, and uh, here it's not working. So there was supposed to be a result here. If I switch to dev tools, um, the actual code that's running is in here. So versions on change. Um, if we just quick try and change it, right? There's 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 no data here. And it, it runs as get comparison, uh, get compare, uh, compares two revisions. It's supposed to bring back all the commit data. So I'm going to just stick a breakpoint in this and uh, just trigger it myself. So I'm going to do versions.call, uh, oops, sorry, onchange.call versions. And that will get me inside of the code. Now, um, what I'm going to show you is there is a there's a bug in this code somewhere and how I can use the watch expressions to um, uh, smooth out my workflow, basically. So the first thing I want to check is, is data, has data got any data? Yeah, it does. OK, I can see all these commits. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for data.commits. So data.commits goes through a filter, which is pretty innocuous. It goes through a map, uh, which returns the commit. Then it does a map template, this guy. So this is the, the guy that I suspect being wrong. So I can just do data.commits. Uh, dot map template and right I can see I'm getting HTML back but it's actually empty and this is this is this would be my workflow basically I'd go into the function I'd make the change then rerun the uh, the the line of code in the console and keep repeating over and over until it's fixed. I'm gonna take a different approach now. So I'm gonna get rid of the console. Instead of using the console to run this code I'm gonna actually use uh, the watch expression. So I'm gonna come up here and do data dot commits uh, dot map template. Okay, and I'll expand that out. So this we can see there is the result. Now the code is currently poor, so I'm just going to go out, go ahead, and uh, jump to the template function, and I'm going to try and fix the code here. So we're, we're paused at the moment. And we've got a watch expression going on. Uh, so the first thing is uh, I see I'm being a bit greedy, so I'm just going to put a question mark there. And we've got our indicator to say that it's not saved. I'm just going to save, and the watch reruns, which is great. Okay, now I can see that there's a change going on, and there's something wrong still. So I'm just going to do console.log and have a look at what we're actually capturing. I'm just going to bring up the console down here, uh, clear it first, and then save. And because the watch is running the whole time, I get the output of the console. And I can see I've got these percent signs on the outside. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm capturing the whole thing. Get rid of the console, I don't need that. I need to just um, slice out from the uh, middle. So slice minus one, one, hit save. And that did not work. Um, why not? Oh, wrong way. Well, we can see it didn't work, so I can look at the, the output, the watch. That's what I'm looking at to tell me it didn't work. There you go. Cool, right now, if I hover over the text, I can actually see the text contains what I want. So if I let the code play out, go back to my output, there we go, we can actually see the revisions. Get rid of that breakpoint. Cool, and the code now works. So that's usually using uh, watches for kind of real-time feedback uh, without going back and forth between the console. I hope that is useful to some of you just watching.